China and Japan are launching a new generation of wheeled infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, at almost the same time, China's third-generation model and Japan's Type 24, both of which use a large eight-wheeled chassis and an unmanned turret design, but who is better? Will it be the Chinese vehicle, with its more comprehensive firepower and protection, or the Japanese design, which emphasizes mobility and airlift? Behind this, Asian Chariot Showdown is not only a technical competition, but also a direct reflection of the strategic needs of the two armies. China's third-generation wheeled infantry fighting vehicle's biggest advantage is its modular firepower system. It is equipped with a newly developed 30mm chain machine gun, its rate of fire and armor-piercing ability, directly against the U.S. Big Viper II type, can be in the 2,000 meters distance to penetrate most of the light armor targets. More critical is the right side of the turret is integrated with four joint anti-tank missile launcher box, equipped with Red Arrow 13 or Red Arrow 16 missiles, static armor depth of more than 1,000 millimeters, with the ability to fight the third generation of main battle tanks. This machine gun plus anti-tank missiles combination so that it can suppress the enemy infantry, but also against the armored clusters, the formation of multi-dimensional strike system. On the other hand, the Japanese Type 24 infantry fighting vehicle is also equipped with a 30mm machine gun, but is not equipped with any anti-tank missiles. Its turret design does not reserve space for missile launch boxes, meaning that when encountering enemy tanks, can only rely on the machine gun or call for rear support. This design stems from the Japanese land, since the island chain defense strategy, the predetermined battlefield and the narrow area of the island. The anti-tank task is more by the special assault guns or air force to undertake, but this single firepower configuration in the face of synthesized forces will reveal serious shortcomings. In terms of power system, Chinese combat vehicles show overwhelming advantages. Although no specific parameters have been officially announced, with reference to the 820 horsepower diesel engine used in the foreign trade type VN22 infantry fighting vehicle, the power of the third generation fighting vehicle reaches at least 700 horsepower or more. This makes its unit power more than 24 horsepower ton, far exceeding the Japanese type 24's 20.9 horsepower ton. The higher thrust to weight ratio not only brought faster road speed, but also gave it excellent off-road maneuverability, especially in complex terrain. Although the Japanese combat vehicle uses independent double wishbone hydropneumatic suspension and other advanced technologies, its 545 horsepower engine is more to consider the air transport limitations. The C-2 transport aircraft can carry two Type 24s at the same time, while China's Yun-20 can carry three third-generation combat vehicles. This design difference reflects the two countries' strategic delivery concepts. Japan emphasizes rapid deployment off the islands, while China pursues full area mobility. However, in real combat, the stronger power reserves of the Chinese combat vehicles can maintain the mobility advantage in sustained combat. Both vehicles use modular armor design. The basic level of protection is comparable. The front can withstand 30 mm armor-piercing bullets, side defense 12.7 mm ammunition, but the Chinese combat vehicle threw three innovations to achieve protection upgrades. First of all, the use of double-layer body structure, the outer layer of high-hardness steel, the inner layer of composite materials, filled with energy-absorbing layer in the middle of the effective attenuation of polymer charge armor-breaking projectile power. Secondly, the top of the turret with a grill armor specifically to deal with the drone thrown by the small roof-topping munitions, and finally, equipped with a laser warning and active protection system, can be locked in a moment to release the smoke screen and start the finally. The Type 24 is equipped with a laser warning and active defense system that can release a smoke screen and activate a jamming device the moment it is targeted. The Japanese Type 24 continues the idea of lightweight protection with its armor layout focusing on traditional threats and lack of targeted design for emerging drone swarms and smart munitions. Although the body of the vehicle is made of special alloy steel, which Japan specializes in, the overall protection effectiveness is still at the level of the 2010s. This difference stems from the perception of the battlefield environment. The PLA needs to face high-intensity confrontation, while Japan's land sends more auxiliary defense tasks. The digitization degree of Chinese combat vehicles has reached a new height, the turret integrates uncooled infrared thermal imager, laser rain finder and crosswind sensor, and with the inter-vehicle data chain system, it can realize the coordinated shooting of multiple vehicles. More critical is the access to the military tactical internet, can receive real-time unmanned aerial vehicles, satellites to provide the battlefield situation, the formation of, reconnaissance, strike, assessment, 
closed loop. In contrast, Japan's Type 24 is only equipped with basic optical viewing equipment and limited data links. Information nodes remain at the level of a single vehicle. It is difficult to integrate into the U.S. and Japan outside the Joint Command System of Coordinated Operations. This generation difference is especially obvious in the complex electromagnetic environment. China's combat vehicle's frequency hopping communication and anti-jamming system can guarantee the smooth flow of command, while the Japanese system and the strong electromagnetic suppression may fail. From the recent years of China-Myanmar border exercises, the PLA has realized the detection control and evaluation of synthetic brigades throughout the digitalization, while the Japanese army has not yet demonstrated a similar ability. China's third-generation combat vehicles are expected to realize mass production in 2025, the initial annual output of up to 300 units, the goal of a comprehensive replacement of the current 92 series, forming a complementary equipment system with the 08 type. Japan's 24-type first batch of procurement of only 24 units, even if the completion of the total procurement plan of 150 units, the scale is only equivalent to China's equipment for a medium-sized synthetic brigade. Behind this order of magnitude difference is the PLA's demand for all area mobile warfare and Japan's off-island defense, positioning of the essential difference. Fundamentally, the difference between the two vehicles reflects the different strategic positioning of the two countries' land forces. China's third-generation combat vehicle is the key node of the all-area combat system, the need to switch roles in the plateau, islands, cities and other scenarios, and therefore emphasizes the balanced development of firepower, protection, information technology. Its design goal is to work with nine Nina tanks, 191 rockets, and other equipment to form three-dimensional assault clusters. Japan's 24-type nature is special equipment for island defense, the design of priority consideration through narrow roads, fast loading, and unloading of transport aircraft in other scenarios, at the expense of firepower and scalability. This positioning difference leads to Japanese combat vehicles and the system confrontation in a passive. It relies on the U.S. and Japanese coalition forces to provide air defense, anti-tank and intelligence support, while China's combat vehicles itself is an integral part of the combat system. From the PLA in recent years, unmanned, transformation can be seen. The third generation of combat vehicles, will also be with robot dogs, drones and other intelligent equipment depth of coordination, the formation of manned, unmanned, mode of coordinated operations, which is Japan has not yet been involved in the field. China's combat vehicles reserved modular interface so that it can quickly integrate laser weapons, electromagnetic armor and other new technologies. Japan's Type 24 is limited by its design position, making it difficult to make disruptive improvements. More critical is that the PLA has been developing Red Wing Vanguard, Combat Robot Dog and other supporting equipment. These intelligent platforms will form tactical synergies with the infantry fighting vehicles, while the Japanese army self is still in the traditional equipment combination stage. In terms of logistics, China relies on a mature industrial system, can realize more than 90% of the parts of the combat vehicle independent supply, while Japan's key subsystems such as engines, observation and aiming equipment still need to rely on imports. This gap in industrial chain integrity will create an exponential advantage in long-term confrontation. When the 24-type infantry fighting vehicles to good enough concept to meet the limited defense needs, China's third-generation combat vehicles are modular, information technology, multi-mission, standard redefinition of wheeled armored platform. This gap is not only reflected in the performance of a single vehicle, but also deeply reflects the speed difference between the two countries from the regional defense to the all-area attack and defense transformation of the army. In the future, with the large-scale installation of China's combat vehicles and its unmanned aircraft, intelligent munitions constitute the Steel Torrent 2.0 system will be in the Asia-Pacific region to form a new paradigm of land warfare. If Japan cannot break through the auxiliary military positioning, its equipment development will always be subject to strategic short-sightedness brought about by the technological ceiling.